A federal judge threw the book at Bernie Madoff on Monday, sentencing him to 150 years behind bars. But prosecutors are far from finished looking into his enormous crimes. Early show national correspondent Jeff Clore is here with more. Good morning. Hey, Harry. Good morning to you. With Bernie Madoff now in prison, federal investigators are continuing to focus on former Madoff business associates, some of whom include his family members. And then there's his wife, Ruth. I have no comments at this time on any subject. That was a month ago, but on Monday, Ruth Madoff, just after her husband's sentencing, broke her silence. My reluctance to speak has been interpreted as indifference or lack of sympathy, which is exactly the opposite of the truth. She said in a statement released through her attorney. Isn't it interesting that she's doing it now, that Bernie is gone and the spotlight will be on her? One time Madoff investor Alexandra Penny was not impressed. Think of the old people who have no place to live. I do not feel sympathy for someone with that kind of money. After the government takes possession of Ruth's Manhattan penthouse and everything in it, she'll be left with two and a half million dollars. Living in New York the way that she's been used to living in New York, it'll get you through possibly a year. Author Tatiana Buncampani has written books on women who've lost fortunes. I think she's probably much more concerned about how the public views her and how her friends view her. Reportedly barred from her beauty salon, favorite restaurants, and even her gym, Ruth Madoff has found living in New York more difficult and now less affordable. CBS's Jeff Glor, thanks.